forest with a man or a bear? Bear. The bear. 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 So would you rather be stuck in the forest with a man or a bear? Action. DMT. One, two, three, four. Five, I was, I was, I was, I was just tripping. I was just playing. God damn it. Uh, don't be gay. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Actually, it's not a Benzie ring yet. Cause it's it's called a joke. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> hey, you, you said that you was listening to Lauren Hill. Yeah. I think Lauren Hill might be the beginning of all this feminist nonsense. Mm. I mean, like, she was really on her independent shit. I was yeah. I was paying attention to these white women, uh, trans exclusionary radical feminists, right? Mm. TERFs or trans exclusionary radical feminists believe that in order to be a woman, you need to have been assigned female at birth or a biological woman. Pro women, but you can't have a tally record being a woman, right? <laughs> uh -huh. And so I was reading the comments because the woman said that she wanted to live in a separatist society mm -hmm. away from men. Mm -hmm. And one of the women said that she was so proud of her black American sisters because they were leading the feminist movement in America. <laughs> she said black women are done with they men. What you say, the 4B movement in South mm -hmm, Korea? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So the B and 4B stands for no. So there are basically four things that Korean women are saying no to. Fascinating. The first B is beyond, no marriage. The second B is be chusan, no childbirth. The third B is beyond, no dating. And the last and final B is bisex, no sex, respectively. I don't even know if black women are doing this intentionally, but they think that black women are leading the movement to separate themselves from men in America. <laughs> delusional <laughs> delusion at his best I, I would love to say this delusional but like the mm. rhetoric is picking up so much we that, okay we can live without mediocrity we can live without the morons okay and if you're continuing to procreate with morons you're just making little morons we don't need that sugar food y'all acting like pregnancy is not a high risk as a woman especially a black woman you can possibly die from childbirth and you out here going half on a baby with the moron mm -hmm, and so mm -hmm. we ain't having no babies and we're having these crazy ass conversations like forest with a man or a bear bear. The bear. 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 bear so would you rather be stuck in the forest with a man or a bear it's and when i when i heard it i was like hell no ain't no way any woman would say that she'd rather be with a bear okay so let's talk about this Right? This is a trending thing right now where women are saying they would rather be trapped alone in the forest with a bear than a man. And this is probably the biggest amount of fear mongering I've ever seen, like just on such a large mass scale. Because did you know that one in 500 men will commit a violent crime? Did you know that? I mean, if the man was out there, he'd probably save you. And I would hope, like, you know how the stories go when the prince or the knight comes to save you? Yeah. His reward is some cookies. That's a problem. That's a fairy tale. In real life, you go yeah. save a woman from a from a bear, and she <laughs> says, get away from me. <laughs> like, what the hell? Uh, no, no. Kevin Hart had that joke. He said, would you be with an armless bitch if we're in the ocean and you get attacked by a shark? I'm going to leave you there. <laughs> I, that, he was like, that's not fair. Hold on. So if my chick has no arms, I'm just going to leave her there? That's what he said. He was like, I didn't. you weren't like that when I met you. <laughs> We both gonna drown because I can't swim. <laughs> if she ain't got no arms, um, I might just use her as a boogie board. Listen, he was like, "The fuck I'm gonna do with a bitch that can't go?" Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And if she tried to swim with her legs, she'll just probably go around in circles. Listen, you know it's delusional. Women thinking that they could be with a bear. Men could do the same thing. They could be with a computer. How many others? Eight thousand three hundred sixteen. They can be with a computer. I think a whole lot of men, they don't have no access to women, so they are with their computers. Mm -hmm. And that's changing the dynamics completely. Why I'll listen to you when I can just turn on the hub for like 5, 7, 13, 42 minutes? Mm -hmm. And I ain't never got to listen to you tell me about, why Why won't you save me from a bear, baby? I'm like, where, where's the bear at? Where's, where's the goddamn bear? Let me put this headset on. I can get some pussy and not deal with your mouth. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, my homeboy, he got the, the goggles, and he yeah. says he be doing the virtual reality situation. Mm -hmm. And so it just completely takes away the ambition from men to want to go pursue women. And I'm yeah. like, yo, we cannot exist like this. We got to do better. Any woman who says that they would prefer to be in a forest with a bear, you don't even realize that right now, right now, these are the most friendly men in the history of men. <laughs> yeah. They ask you what you think, and now the men are so in tune. You know what women want? What? They, they want the bear. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> it's crazy. You ain't never satisfied. I think I think a wild bear reminds them of actual men, you know, with some aggression and shit, you know, with some wow. with some stature. Men are supposed to be like Winnie the Pooh. We're supposed <laughs> to go get the honey. Yeah. My whole purpose in life is to get to the honey jar. That's yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. And I think women just want the man who comes. Rawr, yeah, yeah. Flip over, drop the things, and ah. We need to get back to lying to each other. Tell me more. <laughs> Tell me more about this lying. You know when bitches would act like like they didn't have a problem. Okay. Yes, daddy. <sighs> Okay. I don't want you to lie. I just want you to really sincerely be down with the program. Lie to me. Yeah. <laughs> you talking about lie to me? That's the Miguel song. That, he said, lie to me, lie to uh, me, so sweet. People, you can't handle the truth. He said, tell me that the pussy is mine. <laughs> it feels good. This romanticizing fantasy, fairy tale that we grew up with and all this truth is just... I've been so bombarded with so much truth. Like, I don't want you to lie to me no more. If you a hoe, give me the option. Give me the opportunity to love you for your, for your hoe ass. Yeah, to be a hoe. Pretty yeah. please. And, mm -hmm. and and simultaneously, I'm going to tell you that I'm non monogamous. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm a bear out here, and mm -hmm. I go and get to the honey. Yeah, that's just what it is. You can stay and play, <laughs> we the pool, all that. See, they okay with y'all being hoes theoretically, you know, <laughs> because then they get to the line. So she says that she's okay with me being a hoe. But secretly, she's getting digged down. And that's the problem. Everybody like theoretics till applied knowledge becomes real. Hey, hey the physical is, is real. Mm -hmm. If you were born, like, after 1995, mm -hmm. your reality is Instagram. Right, yeah. That's that's your real experience. Mm -hmm. These Your real friends are there. Mm -hmm. You really <laughs> share your emotions. You really live stream when you sad and crying mm -hmm. and shit. Mm -hmm. That's a whole different shit. Don't have to have no people-to-people -people skills. Just go online. That's a problem. Yeah, it because takes then away. you start scrolling and your whole worldview is based on some nonsense coming from people hiding behind the screen. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Ooh. How were you when you were when you were younger and you had to like approach a woman? Nervous? Was that nerve wracking? Hell yeah. It mm -hmm. fills you with anxiety, but like you get better at it. You just keep <laughs> on shooting. You keep on shooting. Yeah. And so like the world we live in right now, I don't even have to be handsome or anything. You just walk into a room with, with young women sure. and be charismatic and be dominant and just growl and shit. You ain't even, hey, growl and scratch your nuts. Like, what's wrong with him? Yeah, I don't even understand what's happening inside. It's innately, naturally, I'm just like. <laughs> hey, hey, what's wrong with that nigga? <laughs> And all I got to do is just tell her, I'm a breeder. <laughs> like, what? It's so, woo. I make babies. <laughs> like, that, that's the jump start right there. Caveman. I ain't say no shit about no relationship. I ain't say no shit about no dating. I'm just like, man, let's just get to the, oh, you hear me? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, that's mm -hmm. exciting. Yeah, to <laughs> them. I make babies. It's something natural about it that reminds them. It, like, triggers their instinctual. I'm an absolute feminist. You know, like, I'm a freedom fighter. I believe in equality and all that shit. Yeah, you know for what sure. I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And so, like, my job right now is to let every woman make a decision. Oh, you really want to get to it? And so let's just make babies. <laughs> I'm going to have 40 babies. <laughs> 40? God 40. Damn, that's a lot of money. Man from Houston has 40 children. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a conversation for real. I look at America and I see the declining birth rate. And I'm like, I need to do my patriotic duty to save America. <laughs> yeah, somebody got to have these somebody kids. Somebody got to have these goddamn kids, huh? <laughs> oh a whole group of people talk about fuck them kids. Mm -hmm. I'm like, shit, they my kids. <laughs> wow. <laughs> now you'd be a broke motherfucker. All them bitches take your money. The conversation changes greatly when you start listening to like billionaires. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I was listening to Jeff Bezos, mm -hmm. and he was like, uh, we have to leave Earth and go into other uh, space systems and stuff like that mm -hmm. because we have to increase the human population. Just imagine if we if we double the Earth's population, then we'll get another Mozart, another Einstein. Like, we would have more brilliant people because there's more people. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, holy shit. Like, so mm -hmm. we're choosing. So every time a woman says, I don't want to have this sweet baby, I want to mm -hmm. send her to go see Jesus, mm -hmm. she might have just assassinated Barack Obama. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. And so we don't even know. We're just like killing the genetic code for the human being, and we think we're doing something good, but we ain't doing shit. And that's the greatest miracle is being able to create life. Life. And no wonder why y'all bitches don't know that in touch with yourself because you killing a part of yourself. There is, there's a death cult in America, you know, anti-human ideology. They don't even believe in the human existence. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They really are ushering in a, a technocracy, a digital age where all we do is interact with digital devices. Uh, my stimulation, man, there was a movie called Her. Okay. And a man fell in love with his phone. 
Are you in love with anyone else? Who makes you ask that? I don't know. Are you? I've been trying to figure out how to talk to you about this. How many others? 641. What? It was an AI assistant. She talked to him. She yeah. took them in. She was his best friend. Yeah. And so many people, I think their smart device right now is their best friend. <laughs> it really is. But if we're not engaged in conversations on how we improve this thing, then hell, you know? Yeah. You, you'll get people like me having 40 children. You'll mm -hmm. get a whole bunch of women not having no children. Mm -hmm. They say, what about child support? What about it? <laughs> <laughs> but then if I decide I want to help humanity and have a whole bunch of kids, now I'm a hoe. Hey, I'm a hoe too. I'm, I'm, a, have, I'm a dead I'm going to have his baby, his baby, his baby, his baby. I'm helping America. <laughs> you can't even have that many babies. You Why can't one I? Baby oh, at a time. That's the, and that's the thing. I'm, I'm born with all the eggs I'm going to have. Hello, this is science. Right, hello. <laughs> uh, 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 a geriatric pregnancy, they say it's a... That's not a, the right term, right? Mm -hmm. Old bitches having babies is 35. That's the number. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so now you're having a high-risk pregnancy at 35. God yeah, damn. Yeah, it's scary. You think you can have a child at 60, but that baby going to be retarded. Vivica Fox is retarded. <laughs> Why is Vivica Fox retarded? Because, because when she was gorgeous and the whole world wanted her, she yeah. was, goddamn, I'm a feminist. Oh. Like my career matters more to me than having a family. Now she's 60 years old looking like a caricature of herself. Mm -hmm. Talking about, will somebody please love me? I'm ready to get married. Oh, so she's never been married. I don't, she says she's ready to get married mm, now. Right, 60 right. 60 years um, old. Holy oh, Christ, bitch, man. you might as well just... But that's an upside down world. It is upside down. It's, it's, it's backward. Delusional. People are delusional. I'm not saying if I have 40 children, that's right. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying I'm just going to have 40 children because I can. Yeah. They, they used to call sex uh, getting some skin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Hit yeah. the skin. That's the meat to meat. <laughs> meat to meat. Hell yeah. <laughs> Your hot pocket finna meet this meat. <laughs> that's so nasty. It's so wonderful. <laughs> what do you mean? The word coochie sounds like it stinks. Oh, I hate man. that word. But I don't care what the word is. The thing that it's talking about, <laughs> hell, we can do some Shakespeare shit and have the euphemism call it the flower. Hey, that sounds beautiful. <laughs> but the motherfucker still like predator. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me that flower. <laughs> you see predator, huh? Yeah. Yeah, when, when Arnold Schwarzenegger looked at predator, he yeah. said, you are ugly motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And the predator just had a big giant ass coochie face. He did though. <laughs> he really did. It opened up and everything. His face looked like this girl I met one time, oh, right? Shit. And she was 24 years old. Uh -huh. And you know, she was she gave me, she gave me the whole rundown. The modern woman thing. I'm depressed. I'm bipolar. All this shit. Mm. And I'm like, so what do you do in your spare time? Mm -hmm. She's like, I go on the dating apps. So you go on the dating apps. <laughs> she told me she had been with. 29 men in 31 days. I said, holy shit. Damn. Holy Women shit. trying to figure out why niggas don't trust bitches. And I, <laughs> I, I don't even know what I would do if I opened up my day nap and I saw 2,000 matches and fucking 1,500 messages. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I would have 175 children. And it's so easy. <laughs> That's why men and women, it's just so easy. They don't have to go have a personal relationship. It's just so easy to make a connection, go fuck something, and keep going. 30 niggas in 30 days? And you trying to figure out why you depressed? I don't know. Why don't you get mad at me and tell me, hey, stop trying to control women's bodies. <laughs> control women's bodies? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just by this language, the conversation I'm having, I'm being shameful, I'm being misogynistic. All these it's words not, they use no, that's to, realistic. to condemn me. No, it's no, it's it's triggering for people, I guess, but that's because they it's real. People can't handle the truth. You can't be a powerful woman and agree with a man. Because if you do, you'll pick me. Hi! Right. Pick me, pick me, pick me! Remember when I had to research, I was like, what is a pick me? The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive.